we have five different relays here. All we're going to do on this video is look at some of the common coil ohms on relays. Reason being that if you get enough of a short in a coil, you'll blow your low voltage fuse or high voltage fuse. And it would be useful in the field if you had the information you needed as far as knowing which coil was about how many ohms. So we're going to test these five relays and sort of compare because they're going to be different across the board. Now, one, two, three, four of these are 24 volt coils because they're the most common. And this one here, if I remember correctly, let's see what it is. It's a 240 volt coil, as you can see right there. So we're going to see the differences. So let's test. We have old relay here. It's a single pole double throw relay. Coil is on one and three on this relay. Let's zoom in on it and we can take a closer look. All right, there's our single pole double throw relay. We have one and three is our coil. And you can see that there'll be a little drawing on the side of the coil. This one's kind of smudged, but it'll show a little squiggly line in between these two showing that it's a coil. So number one and three here. So let's hook up our multimeter. This is the field piece SC57. We're going to check ohms. You can see I have zero. That's a microfarad. I hit it again. And we have ohms. Let's put them right next to each other so we can see. And this coil we have 74.32. One's kind of changing a little bit. We see we're in the 70s on this one. 73.9. That's how many ohms we have on this relay. So it's going to vary quite a bit because some of them are going to be much lower than this. So let's go on down the line and see what the next one is. We have 24 volt AC coil. We're gonna set it down right here. Let's put our leads on it. Make sure we can see that. And there we are. Fill of our junk out of the way here. We're gonna put one. The coil actually extends both of these right here on one side of the coil and both of these to the other side of the coil. They're jumpered inside. You can see it. They're actually linked up. So either one of those will work just fine. Let's hook one here. And let's go ahead and prove that by sticking one on the other one. And you can see there's hardly any ohms at all in between those two and it's going downward. And the same thing on the other side. Very little resistance in between those two points. Let's check across the coil. It's 20 or just below 20. Right, we're going to stay right around that. Just below 20 there on the ohms on this 9340 double pole double throw. So you can see the ohm rating on that coil is much lower. So you can see if you get out into the field and you see you're having this relay give you problems and you test it, it says 75 ohms. You may think, well, it's much higher than this one, but it's actually not a problem. Let's go check out the next one. This is a single pole contactor called single pole because we have a switch on the one pole here and the other one has a shunt it's open all the way through it or should I say closed electrically all the way through it there's no switch and the coil is here and here so there's a 24 volt coil common and typically Y1 or it's gonna be Y1 for this one contactors can be used in a variety of applications but typically the single pole type is in a condenser for the compressor all right, let's hook it up and see what we got on this one. On this one, we have just a little bit less than the previous one, 16.4. I always say they should range between about 10 and 20. If you get over 20, it's a little bit high. If you get below 10, you get to the shorting territory. If a relay coil becomes shorted, you can't see the coil on this particular one, but if, uh, here's one here. You can see the coil is down in here. If the coil becomes shorted, it's basically like having a touching your red and your common wires together off the transformer. It's going to blow the transformer or fuse. It's a dead short. Let's move on to the next one. This is a three pole contactor, typically used in commercial work. See, there's a switch right there. You see, it says 32440. That's three poles, 24 volt coil. So our coil, which is down here, 24 volts, and we have 40, and that's the amp rating. 
So what I'm going to do is our coil on these, you go around to the end, you can sort of see the end of them. You have our high voltage connections up here, and the coil is actually these right here. You see them. You see A1 and A2 right there. So we're going to check those. This is our coil connections, and you can see that there's two spots on each side, so you can jump her off to something else if you need to. Three pole, 24 volt. You see, this one is right below 10. So if you were saying, man, this one's bad, well, it's not, because the rating for the three pole contactor, as far as the coil ohms, is a little bit different. So that's 9.2 ohms on that one. Now we're going to do one more. This is another three pole contactor, except this one is a 240 volt coil. And you can see that here. 240 volt coil. So it still looks about the same. So, you know, the, the reason why I ended up with this one is because I bought the wrong, wrong one by mistake. Even if you look at it real quick, you can see 240 volt looks an awful like 24. So let's see. Same configuration. So these have a little bit of a, like a lug type scenario where you can fit something in there because your 240 volt wires might be a larger gauge. So let's check it out. Remember the last one that was three pole was nine ohms. And this one is 675.8. So you can see there's a lot more as far as resistance for that much higher voltage. And if you were to confuse these two, you might think this one, hey, this one's got an open coil or something's wrong with it, which is not. It's just a different kind of contactor for a higher coil voltage. Now imagine you taking that 240 volts and putting it on this bad boy right here. You might have somewhat of an electrical show and not the kind you want, the kind that's on YouTube for shock and awe. So there you go, guys. There's some common coil voltages of common relays, contactors, fan style relays. You have all kinds. 9340 is a pretty common one. And then we have the old single pole double throw, which is a common one too. So big variety from multiple hundreds of ohms all the way down to pretty much to the other opposite which is about nine ohms all of those are good relays nothing's wrong with them brand new out of the box stuff